Hey there guys, this is an achievement trophy guide for Unepic, an eye for an eye. My name is Evan Sweet Ghost and I'll be holding your hand every step of the way. Now this is a challenge related achievement trophy for the game, which means you'll first have to find the challenge sigil in order to uh, be able to fulfill the requirements of the achievement. Uh, this is probably the hardest uh, achievement in the game. This boss can be quite a pain, but if you follow my guide, it shouldn't be too bad. We're going to be using quite a few different things. We're going to be using the Melroth bow, which is a unique bow. We're going to be using um, the triple shot skill, which can be purchased at the laboratory shop. We're going to be using the level, ted, uh, level 10 or level 5 uh, arcane uh, control spell, which allows you to have basically take control of skeleton warriors. Uh, five, level 5 will allow you to have one and level 10 will allow you to have two. We're also going to be wanting at least a, uh, one or two speed potions and one or two ogre strength potions. Um, also in, as a failsafe we'll want to have the heat aura spell and the antidote spell although we shouldn't probably need those because we'll be f defeating the boss very quickly. You want to have your Melroth bow upgraded if you have an improved weapon uh, skill and you also want to uh, make sure to uh, get those skeletons uh, before heading to the boss fight. Uh, the challenge sigil for this one is located in an interior room of 7 comma 0. Uh, make your way to this area and you're going to break uh, some walls. Uh, there's two walls and either side of each wall will be a, uh, one of two challenge sigils. There's two challenge sigils right next to each other. Uh, the other one's for the uh, toy hammer challenge sigil, uh, another challenge. And uh, once we've got all that under control, we'll head to the boss fight uh, and we'll be sure to activate the boss fight, chug a speed potion, chug an ogre strength potion, make our way up to that top ledge and basically what we're going to be doing is using the skeletons as a poison shield. So you're going to want to stand directly behind the skeletons <coughs> and uh, spam your uh, bow at the eye. You'll have to cycle through the R triggers before you finally have targeted the eye. Now when you're using the triple shot there is a slight chance you might accidentally kill one of his uh, head heads as he's they're trying to spew their poison uh, it's it's very unlikely that's going to happen but it happened to me one time when I was making the uh, walkthrough so if that happens you'll just have to retry and then be sure to uh, max out uh, your skill triple shot by accumulating kill points uh, before heading in there so that you've got two full charges of the triple shot and you should be able to deal with the boss in 30 seconds to a minute now in the event that you weren't able to uh, defeat him quickly like I did you will probably see his other two phases of attacks he'll spawn little ghosts that uh, you'll be using your heat aura that's where that come in place, comes in place to defeat those and uh, also the antidote will be if you accidentally get hit by the poison and then his phase three will be uh, his petrifying beam he'll bring uh, his beam all the way up to the top of the screen now if you are facing that beam it's an instant death as well as it will instant death your skeleton shields uh, so you want to face away as that beam comes up so really you're going to want to try and defeat the boss as quick as possible uh, just to avoid those other two phases of attacks because those can be quite tricky um, but that should be it and I hope to see you again next time